But there's a reason why you're writing something down in notes and it's so then you'd be able to use this note in the future, not as a reference, but actually write the note so you can go directly into that action. Hi everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today we will be talking about the top S Pen features and tricks that you can find on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now everything that you will see here today is with the Samsung phones that have the S Pen included inside the device, which means you have to insert and detach it in order to use. So that's going to be the Galaxy Note series and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now some of these will work if you have another Samsung phone or tablet where the S Pen is stored on the outside. Now before I cover everything in today's video, I am very curious on what you guys knew, what you didn't know, what was your favorite feature. So after you watch this full video, let me know in the comment section below which one of these you learned today or which one was your favorite that you have always used and that's always clutch in your day-to-day -day life. And hopefully you guys appreciate the rest of this video. The first feature that we'll talk about today is a way that you're able to unlock your Samsung phone with the press of the S Pen button. Now there is a initial setup that goes along with this at the beginning, just to make sure that you do have the security intact on your device. Now the moment where this comes to help is maybe you're at the comfort of your own home, you're using your device, you're using the S Pen, you set the S Pen down, you walk away, you do something really quick, maybe the laundry, cook dishes, change a toddler diaper, go to the restroom, whatever the case, by the time you come back, the screen has timed out. Now all you have to do to continue what you are already doing is hit the S Pen button and it will unlock for you. Now, how this is done is that as you take the S Pen out, you already put in your screen code. So this way, as the S Pen is already currently out, you put in your screen code. Now you're able to use your phone without having to unlock it again. Now, here's the setup for it to work. You want to go inside of your settings. You're going to scroll down, head down to your advanced features. Inside of advanced features, you go inside of S Pen. And then down here, you go to more S Pen settings. Instead of more S Pen settings, this is that S Pen unlock option. This is where you're able to get this one turned on. So what does it look like the very first time that you do this? So let's say that you have your S Pen inside of your device. The screen is already off. Now what's going to happen is let's say that you pick up your phone, you get this thing unlocked, you take the S Pen out of the phone. Uh, but what's going to happen from here is that if you try to get into your device just by hitting on the S Pen button, it's not going to go in. It is still locked. Now, as the S Pen is out, this is where you put in your code. Now, for the sake of the video, I just did one, two, three, four, so I don't use my real code. Now that the S Pen is out, you have the feature turned on. The next time that the screen times out, you will now be able to just hit the S Pen button. So it just goes right back to where you were. And now when you're done with the phone, maybe you put the S Pen back into the device. Now, if you were to take it out instantly right away, and let's say that your phone times out or maybe hit the power button. The next time you go back to your phone, because the S Pen was reinserted back in, you have to go through your lock credentials again. Feature number two is one of those that was included and already turned on on all the past Samsung devices. Now this is one that is now one that you can turn on or off and you can simply see it just by going through the S Pen settings. So I do want to show it off here because that is a change. When you go inside of the advanced features, you go inside of S Pen. As you scroll down, you're going to see this option here, quick create notes. So if you press and hold the S Pen button, tap the screen twice with your S Pen to create a quick note. Now again, this was a part of all of the past note devices and all you have to do is press and hold, double tap, and now you're able to create a quick note. This one was hidden. It wasn't one that you can toggle on and off from before. Now you're able to do that. So I had to show it off in this video in case if you didn't see that option. Feature number three is one that's really not hidden. It's one that you may not go into because not everybody goes into this coloring application. Now this is actually quite fun. If you have any kids or maybe if you get bored, maybe you you love to color, things like that, this is going to really come in handy. So let's say that we choose on this picture here and you go to start coloring. Now, most people will go right away. They will choose whatever color they want. They'll actually scroll in a little bit. They'll try to color, but you'll see this little, this little uh, paint filler here and it's called fill color. When you tap on that, instead of you having to use all of your strokes to color, you'll be able to do a simple tap and it will color it for you. So if you're somebody who loves to color, or maybe you've never used this feature before, you want to take a look, check it out, you'd be able to make some really nice images just by doing the fill color option. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to just discard, discard all of this and you can see some of the options here. Some of them are actually hand drawn, colored, things like that. All the other ones you can kind of see are filled in. This one looks like it's filled in and then kind of hand done up over here. So you can do a mix of the two and then you can make some really, really cool images. 
Feature number four is one that's very convenient and it makes things really quick. So maybe you go inside of the Google search bar widget, anywhere that you see the little text field, if you hover the S Pen over top of it, it'll let you know that you can actually start writing and, and doing your little hand drawing and handwriting instead of just tapping it to open up the keyboard. Or maybe, let's say you go inside of the Samsung messages or Google messages, again, here it is on the bottom, and without me having to tap on this little text area, I'd be able to just start writing right here. So it's just really convenient that you're able to go through, you can write some things down, and instead of you having to go inside of the handwriting area, you'd be able to start writing just naturally through the text area to get everything written out. Feature number five is one that's very convenient if you want to grab anything from whatever you see on the screen. So this one is called Smart Select. So let's say that we just go online. I'm taking a look at this website here. There's something that I would like to share with maybe some friends. You hit on this little air command icon. You do Smart Select. And then through here, let's say that you wanted to share this details and this information. Now, either you can just share it immediately as an image. You can also download or save this image to your phone, or you can just take the text away from it. And you're going to find this one here on Samsung when you Wi-Fi. 5.0, or if you have the newer Samsung phones, uh, Samsung One UI 4.1.1, you'll be able to copy these details right here. It is now copied to your clipboard, and then now you're able to share it and send it to pretty much anybody that you would like, no matter how you would like. Feature number six is one of those where you don't have the phone right next to you. Maybe it's on a stand, maybe it's on a table, and you would like to take a picture, maybe take a video, or maybe even flip the camera around. So how I have mine set up is through the S Pen for the camera. If I was to press and hold, uh, it'd be able to launch the camera, and I'll show you the settings on how you can get that set up. If you were to hit the button once, it'll take the picture. If you hit it twice, it'll change the camera that it is using. So let's say that you wanted to play around with this. Maybe you're already in the camera, you opened it up. If you hit on this little button here, it's going to tell you what you're able to do. Or you can actually tap on those and you can change it. So a single press, you can make it switch cameras or do nothing or take a picture or video. Uh, over here, if you do double press, you can switch the cameras, take picture video or do nothing. So same thing there. Um, but it's very nice that you can go through the camera itself to get it done. If you don't want to go through the camera itself to get it done, you just go inside of the settings. You're going to scroll down, take a look at the advanced features. You're going to open up the S Pen settings, and then through here, you go to Air Actions. So this is an Air Action. You're not right next to your phone hovering. You are away from the phone, and through here, you can choose what these individual apps would do. So for the camera, the single press is to take a picture. Double press is to switch cameras. And then you can change modes and things like that. You can zoom in, zoom out by hovering the S Pen and doing things as the camera is opened up. Feature number seven is one that's super loaded. We're gonna go inside of the Samsung Notes. I put this all as one, but there is six or seven different things inside of Samsung Notes that you are able to do. So first off, let's say that we just tap on the screen here. I'm gonna now use my finger to scroll through. Uh, let's say that we wanted to just draw something. So there's something that I just drawn, and maybe I wanted to either change my pen or I wanted to go inside of eraser. So one of the things that I have is if I press and hold, it will turn into eraser. The other thing I'd be able to do, so it's kind of a way that you'd be able to go through something super quick without having to touch the icons on the bottom. So again, as you're drawing, one of the things you're able to do is if you press and hold and then you use your S Pen touching the screen, it will turn into eraser. Or maybe if you press once, it will change the pen that you are using. So you can see here that I am now in this red calligraphy pen. We switch over, I am now in this yellow pen, and then now we switch over again, and now I'm in this blue pen. Now if I press and hold, now it's just gonna turn into eraser. Now how you're able to get all of this stuff set up is that let's say that you, you have your, your Samsung Notes opened, you tap on this icon, and then on the very top, you're gonna see this little area here where it says Samsung Notes and 100%. If you tap Samsung Notes, this is what's gonna let you know what to do. If you single press it, it'll switch to your next favorite pen. If you double press it, it'll go into eraser mode. Now, I just chose eraser mode, even though I can press and hold, because either you're drawing or you're erasing. I don't need to go to the previous favorite pen. I just wanna to go to my next favorite pen. So this is kind of how you have it all set up. You can choose between either of these two here, get it set up the way that you would like. So now what's gonna happen is you're inside of here, I press it one time, 
it's going to change my pen for me. If I press it two times, you can see here now it switched over into eraser, or if I wanted to and I didn't want to hit it twice, I'd be able to just do a press and hold. So here we go, I'm gonna go back over inside of my pen. I'm gonna draw, press and hold, and it turns into eraser. So there's two ways I'm able to use the eraser on this one, and it's pretty nice. Now the other thing I wanna show is way over here. Sometimes people might not know that you can scroll along the bottom. This is where you can actually lock the screen. So this way uh, you would have to actually use two fingers to move it up and down. So if you have the two fingers, it just kind of helps you to the fact that you're not gonna accidentally scroll through. And you also have this right here. This one right here is called auto fix shapes. So if I draw a circle, it's going to fix it for me and make it look a little bit better. Same thing with that square. Here's a little triangle. And you can see here that I kind of did that on the very top. I drew a little stick figure. I had a perfect triangle. So it really makes everything as perfect straight lines uh, if you have this option right here turned on. If you don't have it turned on, then this is what yours are gonna look like. So if you need it to be freehand or perfect, uh, you'd be able to have it perfect or freehand. And once you turn it on, it's gonna fix what you drew after that, not the stuff right before it. And then the very last one here is gonna be dealing with if you were to write down a website or even a phone number. So let's say that I wrote down this phone number. Again, it's just a random fake number. I get out of it. So I'm not in here. I'm not able to draw anymore. Once you write it down, if you needed to call them, simply hover and hit on that little call button. It's actually pretty nice. It's convenient. So if you're already in the Samsung Notes and you wrote something down, why would you need to go to another location to rewrite it or type it? Again, from here, I hover over this website and you hit on that little uh, internet icon. So again, you hover, hit the internet icon, and it takes you to exactly what you are looking for. So it's pretty nice and convenient where if you're already in the notes, you write down a phone number with the dashes or a website with the www.abc.com. If you have it all written out and it's pretty legible, it will be able to pick it up for you and automatically do it. So this way you don't have to refer back and forth or do some type of weird copy and paste. So again, if you have something written down like this, even an email, then you'll be able to just highlight and tap. It's pretty cool. Some people didn't know you'd be able to do that but there's a reason why you're writing something down in notes and it's so then you'd be able to use this note in the future, not as a reference, but actually write the note so you can go directly into that action. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. Hopefully you guys have learned something. If you did, write down your favorite feature that you learned in the comment section below. I'm really interested to see what you knew and what you didn't know. Other than that, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you appreciate this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.